What's going on guys? We are back at Universal Studios Orlando for another round of Mardi Gras awesomeness. Tonight, DJ Khaled is performing on the center stage here in the park for Mardi Gras and I am super excited to head on inside and check out this concert. Today, we're going to be checking out some more of the food boots, try a couple of items that we didn't exactly get to try the last time and have some more fun, check out some new updates in the park. It's going to be an exciting video guys, let's head on inside. Before we get into the park guys, I just want to give a quick shout out and thank you to our Patreon supporters. Literally without you guys, this kind of content would not be possible. As a thank you for your generous support to the channel for as little as $3 a month, you guys get early and ad free access to all of our cruise vlogs and select theme park vlogs. And if for whatever reason I upload a video like this one today and there's a copyright claim, you guys get access to that copyright claimed video. All of your generous support helps out the channel in so many ways and it helps me keep doing what I'm doing. If you guys want to become a Patreon supporter today and have your name shouted out in the videos down here, then go ahead and click the link in the description below. But anyways guys, with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoy today's video. Just want to point out the weather. Looking a little bit like summer. It's going on 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. We have a lot of darker clouds out today. The forecast did call for a chance of rain today, so I brought my umbrella. I am nice and prepared. Let's head on inside. Just made it back inside of the park. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the wait times on this Saturday afternoon. Despicable Me is a 40 minute wait. E.T. 25 Fast and Furious is a 35 minute wait. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket is a 30 minute wait. Men in Black is a 35 minute wait. Race Through New York is a 15 minute wait. Revenge of the Mummy 45. Simpsons Ride 20 and Transformers 35. So something that I didn't notice at all the last time I was here is that this front booth over here is actually a Mardi Gras booth. This is Belgium. So over here they're gonna have sweet and savory Gouda and onion waffle. That sounds very interesting. We have a cookie butter liege waffle as well. Okay. Maybe we'll be back a little bit later to try some of these. I am very interested in trying the savory waffle, but I mean, I heard both of these were good. Now, just like the last time I was here, I have to be very careful with what I eat and I have to be very particular with what I eat. I gotta pick and choose, but there is one food item that I am 100% gonna get again. It sounds like we have some activity going on on the main stage over here. Let's go ahead and check it out. Looks like we're doing some sound checks over here. That's cool. So as you guys can see over here, there is a queue set up for anyone who is wanting to be in the main stage area. The earlier you guys are in the queue, you're going to be right up front and center for this concert. You don't need to pay anything extra to experience the concert, but if you want to be right up close and personal to whoever's performing, you got to get here early. So now I'm actually pretty curious. I was able to fit on Revenge of the Mummy pretty easily in Hollywood. Does the same apply here in Florida? I don't know, let's go find out. We have some of the guards out here too. Intimidating as ever. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> I love them. With the mummy in the background too. Excellent, thank you so much. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm shocked, but I am. I got the green light. I don't have anybody here to film me actually do it, but yeah. It's very similar to what they have in Hollywood, except this one has a light on it. But there is also an indicator down here as well but yeah I fit pretty easily I'm happy the current wait time is 45 minutes right now and my Express after four doesn't start for another hour but we'll definitely see if we can take a ride on this later on tonight we're slowly but surely fitting on all the rides at Universal again and I'm so happy now you guys already know I had to get the Colombian burger again the last time I was here this was the best item that I had the entire day followed closely behind by the pastelon over at Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be trying that today, but I absolutely had to get the Colombian burger again. Is the quality still as good as it was the first time? Let's find out. Okay, I gotta say, yes, 100% the quality is still good, at least for the Colombia burger. It is delicious, oh my gosh. And they are having to pump these burgers out. Like I was having to wait about an extra 10 to 15 minutes for them to make the burgers fresh, but oh my God, when you can get the burgers fresh off the grill, chef's kiss so good definitely 100% must get okay so the next food item that we are going to try is something brand new and this comes from the Spain booth more specifically Avenue Eats right next door to the Colombia booth we have the papitas bravas which is seasoned crispy potatoes with paprika aioli this came highly recommended from our friends Tyler and Anna over at the Pew 2 I really wanted to try it out Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see what Tyler and Anna were talking about. Those things are banging, oh my God. Those things are really good. Now, I don't exactly know if it's something that I'm gonna get every time that I come here for the remainder of the Mardi Gras event, which ends in a month, by the way, 
Um, but, oh my god, those were really good. I will say they do go a little bit heavy on the paprika, but the aioli is what makes it. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, definitely worth trying if you're here. Made it back over here to the Universal Lagoon just to check up on the new Nighttime Spectacular. And as of right now, it doesn't look like anything major has changed. It does look like we have a couple of random little water nozzles sticking out of the water. You can see the little things sticking out of the water. Those, I think, are new from the last time we were here. But other than that, no new giant projectors or screens or anything like that going on in the lagoon at the moment. I actually stand corrected on the opposite side of Transformers over here on the lagoon. We have two new water um, platforms. I don't, I don't know what they're called because they're, they're all on a huge platform, but there's a huge thing over here with a whole bunch more water nozzles. These two were not here the last time I was here checking up on this. Now the biggest bit of news that we have for today is that Mel's Drive-In has finally reopened. It reopened just last week and unfortunately there is quite a line to get inside so I'm not going to be able to check it out. However, I will show you guys some clips from my friends Tyler and Anna when they went to go and visit. It looks really nice. Overall they revamped the menu and they changed the overall color scheme inside and they got rid of the American graffiti references which this place was originally based off of so overall looks pretty awesome some other exciting news that we got just a couple days ago is that we did get confirmation that dreamworks land is going to be opening this summer taking a look at the construction you can see that scaffolding has been completely removed from shrek's house that is pretty much 100 percent done we can see the top of the troller coaster in the background and slightly more in the foreground we can see shrek's outhouse along those elevated platforms which we do know based on concept art is going to be a water-based play area you can see the pink object over there is going to be another play area dedicated to trolls and more in the foreground over here we have another shack which i do believe is going to be a food and beverage location so let's go ahead and talk about the current rumors surrounding et adventure and dreamworks land the current rumor going around is that the current entrance to et adventure is actually going to get rerouted out either into the hollywood section of the park right by cafe la bamba or out here in central park by the entrance to the NBC Preview Center. Now the way construction looks right now with DreamWorks Land is the back of Shrek's house is currently all exposed and you can currently see inside the structure right over here leading up into the tree trunk. Now that view is directly in front of the current entrance to ET Adventure so we don't think that Universal is going to leave it looking like that for all guests to see. So the thing that makes the most sense right now is to reroute the entrance to ET Adventure. That way it doesn't clash with the current work being done on DreamWorks Land. Let me know what you guys think about that rumor down in the comment section below. Again, nothing has been confirmed yet. It is just a rumor, but if anything does get confirmed, we'll make sure to let you know. Just across the way from the Men in Black Gear Shop, we have some construction walls over here outside of this food and beverage stand. It looks like there's a bit of concrete work going on over there. So now that I'm here in the back of the park and I'm kind of close to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter in Diagon Alley, it's gotten me very curious. Since I'm able to fit on Revenge of the Mummy in Hollywood in here, can I fit on Gringotts now? Because the restraint system for Gringotts is very similar to what they have on Revenge of the Mummy. So we're gonna head on over there and see. Okay, so I gave the testie at Gringotts a shot and yeah, unfortunately, it is a bit more restrictive than the restraints over at Revenge of the Mummy. So I'm not quite there yet, but I am almost there. So maybe in a couple months, I lose another 10 to 15 pounds, I'll be able to ride it, but it's progress. I'm getting there. Right across the way from Fisherman's Wharf, we have some facade work going on on the Ghirardelli factory. Doesn't look like anything major is going to be going on, just a light refresh. I expect that these scrims are not going to stay up for very long. Now across the way from Fast and Furious Supercharged, we're going to take another look at the Universal Lagoon and we have a brand new wooden platform over here on the water. Like this is fresh wood. This has never been here before. I have a feeling I know what this platform is going to be used for, but I could be very wrong as well. We do have some rumors surrounding the new Nighttime Spectacular that's going to be happening over here on the lagoon, and I think that this platform is related to that in some way, shape, or form. I don't want to get too much into it right now, but if you guys know, you know. There's also a very good possibility that I have absolutely no idea what this platform is for, and I am very wrong. Current time is 6 p.m., and here's a current look at the crowd situation in front of the Universal Studio stage for the DJ Khaled concert tonight. Space is going to fill up pretty quickly. The concert isn't until 8.30, so all these folks over here are going to be here for the next two and a half hours plus because you have the entire concert. That's going to range from eh, 45 minutes to an hour long. Just like the first time we were here, we do have parade performers out and about interacting with guests 
a couple hours before the parade officially starts. And the final food item of the night is going to be some beignets. I didn't get a chance to try these the last time I was here because there were a lot of other things that I really wanted to try. Let's go ahead and dig in and see how good they are. Current time is just after 7 p.m. and here is a look at the crowd levels for the concert tonight. I know it's kind of backlit, there you go. You can see it has filled up a lot more, but a lot of folks are still sitting down. So once they make everybody stand up closer to when the concert's about to start, there'll be a lot more room to work with. So still plenty of room over here in this section. Still quite a bit of room towards the back of the middle section. And then of course you have all of this open over here. I just walked up, I'm right up against the barricade. This middle section over here is for handicap viewing right now and walkway. unhinged concert I have ever been to but it was also one of the best concerts I've ever been to 
As you guys can see, I am back home from Universal, I and mean, I had to film this outro. I didn't want to mess with it over there because there were a lot of people leaving at that time, and I didn't want to fight with traffic, so I was trying to get out of there lickety-split. But anyways, um, DJ Khaled, that was... Oh my god. <laughs> the man is a living meme. <laughs> What you see online from him is exactly what you get in person. I was there with Tyler and Anna from the Pew 2 and we all lost count of how many times he said his name, how many times he said, we the best music, and how many times he said, another one. <laughs> it was literally just him playing 30 seconds of a song, stopping the DJ and saying another one, and then another 30 seconds of song plays, and it was just back to back to back to back to back. It was so bizarre. Nobody there knew exactly what was happening, but we all still had a blast regardless. <laughs> it was so bizarre. Some people have their complaints about the performance from what I've seen online, but I thoroughly had a good time, and I think Tyler and Anna had a good time as well. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything that you saw in today's video down in the comments section below. If you enjoyed anything that you saw in today's video and you want to see more like it in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and help us get to 100,000 subscribers. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.